Good evening. A student from Ukraine who murdered an 82-year-old Birmingham man and carried out a series of bombings across the region has been jailed for life. Pablo Lapshin has been told he'll spend a minimum of 40 years in jail for his abhorrent crimes. He'd been in the country just five days when he murdered Mohammed Salim as he walked home from prayers in April this year. Well, today the Old Bailey was told of the 90 days of terror that Lapshin inflicted on the Midlands as he planted three bombs outside mosques in Walsall, Wolverhampton and Tipton. In the last explosion, serious loss of life was only avoided because the time of Friday prayers had been changed. Well, in a moment, I'll have reaction from the Home Secretary, Theresa May. But first, this report from Bob Hockenhull. Practicing his terrorist skills, Pavlo Lapshin blows up a tree in his native Ukraine, a forerunner to the mayhem and murder he'd bring to the West Midlands. The consequences felt keenly at Green Lane Mosque in Birmingham. Respected member Mohammed Salim was stabbed to death by Lapshin. I miss him. I miss him because sometimes... You, you know, sometimes I cry for him. During Friday prayers, news filtered through of Lapchin's sentence. He'll serve a minimum of 40 years. A spokesman for the mosque said he believed the Ukrainian student should never be released. We've got a big void in our congregation. Uh, Mohammed Salim was a senior member um, and a great loss to us. I hope, I hope the, the 40 years will extend um, to keep him in there and hopefully he'll learn from this. Uh, a murder was committed on the basis of um, racial hatred. For 90 days, Lapshin waged his racist war against non-whites, confessing all when arrested. After murdering Mohammed Salim, he left homemade bombs outside mosques in Walsall, Tipton and Wolverhampton. The carnage he'd hoped for didn't materialise. No one was hurt. The judge who sentenced Lapshin said he was clearly planning further attacks. Today's sentencing represents a sense of closure for many of Mohammed Salim's friends at Green Lane Mosque. Here they've been remembering a respected member of the community whose kindness reached across the generations. But outside the Old Bailey, Mohammed Salim's family said there could never be closure for them. A sentence could never be enough. I'd, I'd, I'd ask anybody to sit on this side of the fence and, and weigh up years to life, you know, who took away the life of a very beloved person. And a loving grandfather whose brutal loss has devastated a family and a community. Bob Hockenall, BBC Midlands today. Well, a little earlier I spoke to the Home Secretary, Theresa May, and began by asking for her reaction to the case. Well, Pavlo Lapshin committed appalling acts of violence and terror and he robbed Mohammed Salim's family of a loved one, and our thoughts must be with them at this very difficult time. But whatever the ideology of a terrorist, uh, whatever form their acts of terror take, they are criminals and they will be dealt with as such. And I commend the lengthy sentence that has been given to Pavlo Lapshin today. And Lapshin came into Britain on a work sponsorship scheme. What checks are in place to prevent such extremists entering our communities? Well, checks are undertaken, and of course what we have done as a government is we have been looking at this whole question. Uh, we have, since we came into government, uh, excluded more uh, extremist hate preachers, for example, than uh, has been happening before. But we have, in our extremist task force, which the Prime Minister brought together, been looking at uh, whether there is more that we can do to be dealing with extremists of all sorts, whatever their ideology. And uh, you know, Lapshin wanted to divide communities, but I must commend the calm and dignity of the local Muslim communities who were affected and of the people of West Midlands who have shown that terrorists will not divide us. Well, Lapshin began researching sites to buy bomb parts in March 2012. That would suggest that these checks that you have in place to ensure that extremists don't come into our communities aren't rigorous enough. Well, of course, we continually look at what can be done uh, to protect the public, and that is a task that we carry out uh, as I say, we are continuously looking at what more can be done. And we are, as a government, taking a number of steps um, to ensure that we can uh, not just uh, look at who is coming across our borders, but that we can make sure that individuals who we wish to deport can be deported rather quicker. 
uh, than has been the case up to now. How can you reassure communities here in the West Midlands that a similar case will not happen again? Well, I can reassure local communities that the government is doing what it can to ensure that we do provide appropriate checks for people who are coming into this country. We uh, maintain uh, the security of our own borders. We have that uh, ability. We look at people who come into the country obviously carefully. Uh, uh, but we are not complacent on this matter and we continue to look at what more, more we can do to ensure that we protect the public from extremism. And of course, particularly in uh, the West Midlands, the West Midlands police following the acts of violence committed by Lapshin, particularly following obviously the bomb at the Tipton uh, Mosque, uh, did undertake a number of visits. I think over 200 mosques and Islamic centres were visited. Security advice was given, uh, extra patrols were put on. So there was a very visible effect uh, locally to give reassurance to communities. Theresa May, Home Secretary, thank you. Coming up later in the programme...